Good morning. This is a day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. That is Psalm 118, verse 24. Today I want to give thanks. In each day, there is much for which to be grateful to God. God created this amazing world in which we live. The sound of birds and even insects can soothe our ears. The colors of the sunrise and sunset or the flowers in bloom around us make us joyful. Our interactions with other people, taken so for granted until we are asked to stay at home for the safety of others, lifts the heart and soul. I am no techie by any means, but I am very grateful for being able to lead you in worship even when we cannot gather together. I am grateful for those who have put their lives on their line for me and the freedoms I enjoy. Yesterday, we marked Memorial Day when we honor those whose lives were lost while serving in uniform. I am thankful for those still stepping forth for this cause of freedom and to provide help. Many in the reserves are currently serving communities here in this country to help provide medical care, testing, and food, among other things. As we look forward to the Sunday celebration of Pentecost, the day the Holy Spirit fell upon all those followers of Jesus who were gathered in a room together, I think about the story of what became the church and how that has shaped my life. My ordination papers came with a list of those bishops who had laid hands on others to ordain them into ministry, who then became bishops, who then laid hands on others to ordain them into ministry, so on and so forth, right up to Bishop Woody W. White, who laid hands on me. It goes all the way back to John Wesley, and from John Wesley back to the Apostles. I am thankful. Over the last several days, the words of Psalm 100 have been going through my mind and heart. Along with the words have come memories. That psalm was one of the first pieces of scripture that are memorized. I received my first Bible in third grade, but it was my fourth grade Sunday school teachers who really encouraged us to memorize key scriptures. I think Psalm 100 was the first or maybe the second that I committed to memory. But I also learned Psalm 23, the Beatitudes from Matthew 5, the Ten Commandments from Exodus 20, among many others. I received a sticker or a ribbon for everything I memorized. The ribbons are long gone, but three of the stickers are still clinging tenaciously to the inside cover of that first Bible. This home is in my bedside table. I'm not sure what has triggered all these memories at this time. I haven't thought about Mrs. Carlix and Mr. Anderson, my teachers for that year, in quite some time. They were brother and sister, one outgoing and one quiet, but both giving their time to share their faith with young, often inattentive children that needed to know the scriptures so they could live them. The memories are precious and I give thanks. There are many Psalms of thanksgivings and many Psalms that contain thanksgiving along with other things. I quoted one in my greeting today from Psalm 118. However, Psalm 100 is probably the most well known. I share with you from the Revised Standard Version, the version I memorized 50 years ago. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. As you can tell, I no longer recite the psalm from memory, but phrases from it pop into my thoughts often. Serve the Lord with gladness and come into his presence with singing are probably the ones that come to mind most often. But today, I enter his gate with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. I come into God's presence with a heart that is grateful, thankful, 
and knows who to praise for all that has come to me and for life itself. I invite you to join with me and let us rejoice and be glad in this day. Let us pray. Most wonderful and holy God, we come to you today with thanksgiving in our hearts to praise you for who you are. Your love endures forever. You are always faithful. You have given us life and love and beauty that touches all our senses. You have given a heart to share your love to people of all generations stretching back to the beginning of time. Each person who has shared your love and glory has in some way touched our lives and helped shape them. We thank you for all the faithful who have come before and pray that we are part of the chain of faith that will shape those yet to come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.